Hello there everyone! Zantok here with Select Star Gaming and time some more Pokemon Soul Silver. Alright, so last time, uh, well, we got catching contest again, we got the Sudowoodo, and we arrived here in Ecrotech City. Which, if you thought it was time to explore Ecrotech City, unfortunately, you are wrong. As I have become aware, there is something new in Golden Run City that we can do now that we couldn't do uh, before we had talked to Bill at the Pokemon Center. Go figure, right? So now we get to go all the way back to Golden Rod City to find out what that's all about. <sighs> Alright. I guess we're getting some maple corn out of the deal. That's always nice. Wait a minute, hold on. Is it bug catching day again? No, it's not. That's tomorrow. Darn, I was gonna go ahead and give it another shot. Oh well. And you know what? It, it's fine, you know, that we're going back again, because hey, you know what? It gives us more of a chance to uh, fight some wild Pokemon, get some grinding in. But we have another gym battle coming up. I don't. It's not going to be this episode. It might not even be next episode. But there is one coming up, and that's going to be a tree. Yep, there's a tree. We don't have cut on any of our Pokemon. I don't see a point in teaching it because it's a terrible move. Uh, unless we literally have to go through a place and use cut in order to proceed, I'm not teaching it. And actually, I don't even need to do that because I just remembered our Sentra has cut. So who cares? It doesn't matter at all. Actually, I just want to talk to him and make sure that this isn't actually book catching. I don't think it is. Today's Saturday. That means the book catching. God damn it! It is today. I thought it was Sunday for some reason. All right. Um. <laughs> three bug catching episodes in a row. I mean, all right. Let's do this. See if we can get a scyther or pincer this time around. Since well, the internet wasn't good enough. Yes, 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 I know how this works. Oh my god, go away. I'm not going to care about any other Pokemon because, I mean, Vinonet couldn't get us a top score. So we got to get either Scyther or Pen, so that's, that's just how it is. Oh, look at Butterfree. Nope. Don't care. Can't escape. What? No. Seriously? Poisoned right away? Oh, that's some nonsense. Come on now. Seriously? If I was seriously caring enough to actually be determined to want to win this one, I would heal Doris right now. But I don't I don't care that much. I plan to just run away until we get either Pinsor or Scyther, throw a ball, and hope. We couldn't run away again. Good God. Why did I bring Doris to this? Why? Why? It's just Paris. I do not care. We're just gonna try and run. We're gonna fail. It's gonna hit us with Scratch. We'll take poison damage. Oh, hey, look, we actually got away. I mean, even if we do encounter Cypher or Pinsir, we're gonna be taking poison damage and they'll be hitting us with each turn that our ball fails to catch them, so I don't think we're going to get what we want. Not, not that we have that poison on us now. Good lord. So annoying. Really? So dumb. Oh yeah, it's a Caterpie. Come on, Pinsir, Scyther, you both have a 5% chance of spawning. Where are you? So I'm pretty sure it was 5%. Yeah, 5%. Same chance as that Butterfree we already found. Come on, there's a 10% chance of getting one of the Pokemon that I want. Come on. Oh, it doesn't matter if we're dead. What well, is a failure of a bug getting on this? I considered just trying to catch the Butterfree anyways. But, eh. I don't care enough. I really don't. Pretty much did that to kill some time and hope that I'll get what I wanted. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who won. We got a Weedle in third place, a Butterfree in second. And let me guess, number one is going to be a Pinsir or a Scyther. Because of course it is. Uh, wait, what? I quit. I quit everything. I never want to touch this game again. I just want to go home. Oh, shoot. I am home. And I can't stop playing this game. Damn it. Well, I still hate everything. Everything sucks. 
Was Doris healed? It must have been, because we got knocked out. Huh. Hadn't noticed that before, I guess. Anyways, uh, we were not in... Bug catching contest is not really a backer for us today. So we gotta go back to Goldenrod and head to a certain place. Actually, we need to make a stop at the Pokemon Center first, now that I think about it. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Alright, we need to drop a Pokemon off on our PC. That's probably going to tell you what's going to happen here. I mean, why else would we drop a Pokemon off? Well, unless we were going to be getting another Pokemon here for free. Yeah, that's right. Free. Love me some free Pokemon. Alright, no Sorato, you need to just uh, hang back here a bit. Because we're going to go meet a new friend. Which you can only do after meeting Bill. Kind of makes me wonder if I knew this the first time I played this game. Alright, over here in this house, if you'll remember, this is where uh, Bill's family lives. And here's Bill. He's finally made it home. How's it going, Bill? Oh, hi, Zantok. Would you do something for me and take this Eevee? It came over when I was adjusting the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Someone has to take care of it, but I, I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it? Sure. I knew you'd be real. I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. Okay, I'm counting. I used to take good care of it. And now we have an Eevee. Question is, what to name it? It's a, ooh, it's a female Eevee. Those are rare. Only a 12.75% chance of that happening. Where's that 12.25? One of the two. 12 point something. Uh, I need a name for her. Um, I don't know if she's going to be used as part of our party. You know what? This may be a bit stereotypical for an Eevee. We're gonna name her Eve. I don't know. Uh, yes, Professor uh, Eevee can be able to summon different kinds of Pokemon, but unfortunately in this game, only five of those possible Pokemon can we evolve Eevee into. And that's because two of its forms, Glaceon and Leafeon, uh, require evolving the Eevee around a special type of rock in the overworld. These rocks do not exist in the Johto region. For now, I'm just going to put Eve into the PC. Uh, we're not going to use her for now. Uh, it's possible that I will change my mind and pick her back up later on. I don't know yet. It's going to depend on how our final team starts to shake up and what types I think we're missing. At that point, I'll consider, okay, maybe we need to bring in Eevee. Because Eevee can evolve to seven different Pokemon, so I can really pick what kind of type I want Eevee to be. Fire, water, electric, uh, dark, or psychic. And looking at our team, I mean, right now, we have Water Ground with Doris, Bug Fighting with Ophelia, Poison for Miranda, Grass for Hibiscus, Rock for Gawain, and Poison Flying for Nosferatu. Dropping Miranda for that EV and taking on either the Psychic or Dark versions is a very interesting idea. I just don't know if I want to do it yet. Actually, actually. You know what? You know what? I'm thinking. I'm, th I'm thinking we need to do it. I'm thinking we should actually go ahead and do it. I want to go ahead and check and see what uh, moves Eevee will learn on level up, though, and when, because that's very important. Like, are, am I going to get any good moves with Pokemon that I'm thinking of getting? Because if not, I mean, there's no point. So I need to figure that out. Let me see here. What will I learn? Uh, this is Gen 4. Let's see here. So I'm considering doing either Umbreon, the dark type, or Espeon, the second type. Umbreon will get uh, Pursuit, Fate Attack, Assurance as dark type news. Not the greatest. But Eevee can get Bite at level 29. It's just... If I wait that long to evolve, then I'm going to miss out on Pursuit, which is actually okay. And also lose out on uh, Confuse Ray, which, eh. Espeon, I'll get Confusion and Psybeam. And Psychic. Ooh! You know what? 
yeah, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take uh, take Miranda off the team, put Evie on, and we're gonna start leveling it up and trying to get it to be happy with us. Cause in order to evolve to either Umbreon or Espeon, Evie has to reach maximum happiness. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The only downside is uh, it depends on when when Evie evolves to maximum happiness on what it becomes. If it's daytime, Espeon. Nighttime, Umbreon. But we can always cancel the evolution if we see that it's not going to become the form that we want. So, I mean, I think we'll be okay. I would love for Eevee to be able to get Bite before it evolves. This Bite's a nice move, but if we get Bite, we're going to lose Swift, which isn't a big deal. We'll also lose Confusion, which is more of a bigger deal. I feel like I'd rather have... Actually, no, Confusion's not is fine, because I'll get Side Beam, which is even stronger than that. So, ideally... Ideally, I'd like to have Eevee hold off on evolving until it learns Bite, so it'll have both Dark and Psychic moves. We'll see if I get my wish, though. I mean, I can kind of force the issue, but I don't want to force the issue. I'm also going to have to look up after this episode and find out what are the best methods to raise Eevee's happiness. Because I know like, it'll just naturally happen as I play, because I'm having to do the same thing with uh, Zubat and Golbat. When Zubat evolves, it's going to require happiness to become its final form. But I want to make sure that I do it... I want to have the opportunity as fast as I possibly can. That way I can more uh, actually keep control of what moves I want the Eevee to learn. And if I'd realized that I was going to actually train this Eevee, because before I started this episode I had no intention to train it right now, I would have given it a more appropriate name than just Eve, but I, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna stress over it. We okay? And I was wanting to drop Miranda at some point, anyways, because I wasn't intending to keep an Ekans on the team. Maybe if I wasn't using Zubat. But, eh, I didn't want the poison type to be something we actually used. Alright, Eve, it's gonna be your first battle, and you're not gonna do anything in it. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I'm ready. I've actually, with the exception of my very first run of Pokemon Red, I have not used an Eeveolution on one of my teams in Pokemon, so this is a new, new adventure for me. In that game, I used Vaporeon because I needed something to use Surf with. The only downside is I never actually beat that game. I never beat the original Red when I was a kid. I, uh, well, I got lost in Victory Road. <laughs> oh, it was sad. It was very sad. So maybe using a, uh... Maybe use an EV EV tier, whether it becomes SPR or Emmer, because I could change my mind later on. Maybe that'll make up for that. And I can still use another Evolution uh, in another run. Just because I get Umbreon or Espeon in this game doesn't mean I can't use Vaporeon or Leafeon in a later game. I'm, I'd be interested in doing so, just because on, you know, what happens. Aw, oh, come on, Eve. I was hoping you'd get a level up for your first battle, but okay. Fine. Wow. Really wish I had the move with the. I uh, had the bleh, words. Really wish I had the capability to fly quickly between towns right now, because then I could have just skipped all the nonsense and gone straight to Old Golden Rod and then gone straight back to X Attack. But oh well. At least it's not taking us that long. Okay, Eve, I need you to come on back so I can send out Nosferatu this time around. Uh, you should get enough experience to hit level 6 this fight. That's gonna be nice for you. see here. Let's go for the wing attack. Eevee won't be learning any new moves until level 8, and even then his only sand attack 
if we were somehow able to evolve it by that time, okay, it's totally scary, guy. The differences between Eevee and its evolution won't be coming up until we hit level 15, I think. I'm double checking. Yeah, level 15. So level 15, Eevee will learn Growl, Umbreon will learn Pursuit, and Espeon will learn Confusion. I I'm fine if I get Espeon in time for 15, but if I miss it, I'd really rather just wait until, you know, I can get Bite for Eevee. Why the other forms don't get Bite, I don't know. I, it's kind of silly to me, but whatever. Heal on up! Alright, we are all restored up again. Let's see what we need to do next. I don't know if there's anything in these houses that is uh, particular for us. I, I do... No, no there, there's something. We, we're going to go ahead and explore the, all the houses. There's our Pokemon gym. We're not going to be heading in there just yet, though. We've got some other stuff to do. Hey, what's up, dude? Ah, you're an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right? Or am I right? Sure. Good. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. We now have the dowsing machine. Uh, we can use this to find items that are hidden on the map. Sometimes we see items that look like little Pokeballs, but some there, sometimes there are items that you just don't see, and you have to click as you run around to find them. But this will make it easier for us. Oh yes, I heard there are items in Equitech's bone to tower. Cool. We're never going to use this item. I don't care about it. I really don't. Is there some good stuff that I'm missing out by not using it? Yeah. Do I care? No. I'm going to rehearse at the dance theater. Can you join me? Um, I don't dance. Sorry. But this does look like a nice place to go visit. The Ecritech Dance Theater. Do we want to do it? Yep. Yeah. Wait, why is there this empty space? What? That's... Okay. Oh, that's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. They make you feel uplifted, don't they? They use the hope of the light, so to speak. Speaking of the light, I heard something about the lighthouse in Olivine. The Pokemon that serves with Beacon has fallen ill. Sounds like it's in trouble. Well, that's quite unfortunate. A Pokemon that's supposed to, you know, keep up the light at the lighthouse and it's sick? Oh man. Oh, when I was young, the sky turned black and a giant flying type Pokemon was blocking the sun. That sounds dangerous. I wonder what it was. It was like a bird and a dragon at the same time. Okay. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. I agree. It would probably be powerful. If it exists. Uh, there's another way out. If you go west from this city, you'll reach a port called Olivine City. When your Pokemon learn Surf, you can go out to the ocean from Route 40 without a ship. So we're going to need to learn Surf. Okay. Equitech used to have two towers. One on the east, one on the west. Used to, you say. I wonder what happened. The tower that used to be here. I heard that it used to be much taller before it was burned by a fire. Oh, that's what happened. I burned to the ground. Well, mostly. It's kind of still here. Anyways, we're going to go to the dance theater first. That's uh, our first uh, place of business here in Necrotech. So let's head on over. Hey, hey! Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something, uh, like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well then, I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, you're just spinning in place. What's the deal with that team rocket grunt messing with my kimono girl? You are a traitor, aren't you? Please help her. Your kimono girl? To do such a terrible thing to a kimono girl. I don't understand how young people behave these days. I don't either, to be honest. Oh, ouch! Stomach ache! I wonder what this guy I thought was for, for this pain. Alright, well, since you're completely lame and the old guy is a bit of a perv, I'm gonna go do it. Huh? Who are you? You dare to get in my way? Yes, I do. 
<laughs> All right, we got a, another battle against a team marker ground. He's only got one full cross. This will be pretty pathetic. It's a coffin. It's level 12. My team is full of level 19s and a level and level 20s. And you know, Eevee. Oh, uh, let's go with Doris here. Those frogs was probably the smarter idea because you know, immune to poison. Well, the suspect, not the type. Cool. Now Doris just got poisoned because I'm a moron. <sighs> fine, fine. Uh, let's go for the. Wait, does it have levitate? Damn it, it does. So it's immune to my ground type moves. Otherwise, it would have been weak to him. Damn. Real shame, that. Real shame. In that case, let's go for the water gun. See how much damage this does. Oh, cool. My accuracy is lower. Awesome. Thanks. Fantastic. And we miss. You know. Of course. As one would expect. Oh my god. This coughing. I hate it so much. Okay, Doris. How, okay, you're seeing the feeling with water guns. Let's go for a slam. If you miss... Okay, that's better. Thank you. So now you're actually even worse. So, yay. Please slam again. Alright, Doris, I'm gonna have to pull you out. I I'd like to get some experience from this, so I'm gonna have to send in those frosty now. We're, gonna we're immune to being poisoned, so that's cool. Just don't use smoke screen. Okay, cool. Tap on. Fine with that. Ah, uh, let's go for the wing. Ooh, let's go for the wing attack. Thanks, stomach, for being weird there. All right, now our vision is obscured. Let's for to finish this off with bite, or don't. Cool. Thanks. Uh, 97 experience all around. <laughs> Looks like I lost. Yes, you did. Oh no, you make me look like a villain. Oh, oops. Wait a minute. I have an important mission to go to. They found out I was wasting time here. They'll make me start over as the lowest Teen Rocket grunt. I better leave now. Yeah, you better leave. Well, oh, that's done. How's it going? Oh, you must be Xantok, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does know what to look for in people. Ho oh, ho ho. That was just me talking to myself. <laughs> Never mind. You sure? Okay, she's gonna say, gonna say the same thing. Alright, time to go then. Unless the these people will give me a reward. Oh! Wonderful! You are so courageous for your age. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it! Hey, look! We got HMO3! That's gonna be Surf! But we can't use that on the overworld yet. We have to uh, defeat the next gym leader in order to do that. Which, if you're thinking, hey, does that mean it's time to fight the gym leader? No! It's not. We still have something else to do first. Alright, let's go ahead and get healed up here since Doris is looking a little on the weak side. Alright, now that we've done that, uh, the next thing that we're going to be heading off to... Actually, before that, I wonder... Here we have Barrier Station to Bell Tower. No trust have passing by the unworthy. Well, I think I'm worthy. Have I ever been here? I don't remember this place. Morty, the gym leader, assembled this tower to try to bring back Ho-Oh because it no longer appears. Even he couldn't bring it back. You don't seem to have the Equitech gym badge. If you can't even defeat Morty, going up there will be a waste of time. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Well, that's rude. The rainbow-hued Pokemon flying gracefully over the tower. The silvery, sparkling Pokemon resting gently upon the whirling seabed. 
all of this is far beyond my imagination. Pretty sure you can imagine it. Pretty sure. The Jodo region has two legends. One is the legend about the World Islands. The other is the Bell Tower legend. We've been passing down the Bell Tower legend for generations in here in Equitec City. Then you're not going to tell me what it is. Okay, well that's a little rude. Thanks. So, uh, with that said, the next thing to do here now, actually, oh, I can, yeah, it's basically the next thing to do store-wise is we need to go to the burn tower, but that's going to be a whole big thing, so there's no point in us starting that now this episode, so I'm just going to go here uh, off the route just, just a little bit to see what we can find. Ooh, Team 65 Shadow Claw. Oh, that's nice. Alright, what's this cave? Mount Mortar, waterfall cave inside. Uh-oh. Um, oh boy! Sorry that I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. And here, take this! HM4? Strength! Now I can move boulders out of my way, which I guess I'm gonna have to do for Mount Mortar. That's cool. Uh, I don't believe we do Mount Mortar yet in the game. Uh, if I can just bring up the map here. Yeah, Mount Mortar won't be happening yet. First of all, we're going to have to go over to the left to come down to uh, Olivine City, surf down here, and go to Cyanwood City. That's going to be our... Uh, th those, that's our next goal that we have to do is just get to that area before we can come back over here and head up this side of the map. Theoretically, I guess you might be able to go out of order. I'm not entirely sure. I know not every game has to go in a certain specific order. I'm just... Not sure which ones you do it. I'm not sure where that spot is. I feel like it's different in this game than it was in the original Golden Silver. It may not even exist in this game. It might have been just something that you could do in the originals. I don't know. I know in Kanto you could swap around a couple of them, but. Okay, Route 38. There's uh, some trainers here, some grass. We might as well do that before we move on. You can just, you know, just pat out the upper just a little bit. Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon, because I'll consider just ending it off once we did the Komodo Girl. But then I was like, you know what? There's there's a couple places I can go just to take another extra minute and so that we don't use our time in later episodes. Might as well. Hey, Eve, come on back. Hey, Doris, get it going. Eve won't be ready for serious battling for a while. A while. Let's see now, Doris, I want you to use Water Gun. Okay, that's uh, not as good as I thought it was going to be. Cool, I love being critted. Thank you. Especially with the multi-hitting attack. Okay, I can deal with Growl. Just please, Doris, slam into the bird and do a significant amount of damage. Not quite what else is important. Rage! Cool, that's gonna be bad. Oh, come on, Doris! Damn it. Gosh darn it, Wooper. I, w I was really worried to use with you. You need to evolve badly, because your stats are just trash. But when does Wooper evolve? It's like level 22 or something, I think. Let me see here. No, level 20! So we're almost there. If we just get Doris one more level up, we'll finally be able to evolve her, and she will be uh, well, a little bit less weak. Put it bluntly. Do I not have the experience share item yet? God, it's so slow training a Pokemon. That's part of why I wasn't replacing anyone yet, because it's just like, it was be a massive pain to do the training. Alright, Eve, come on back. We're going to send Nosferatu back out again. When do you become your next form, Nosferatu? Let me find out that as well. 22. Okay. So I probably got you and Doris mixed up there. But luckily, it won't be that long for either of you. We just gotta, you know, be patient about it. Put in the time and effort. Cool! This is back again. I 
love it. Thank you. That's fine. Build your rage. Go for it. I'm okay. Oh, look. You've been knocked out. Ooh, lovely for Eve. Learn that sand attack. Oh my god, he has another Doduo? Seriously? God damn. Why? At least it's his last one. Alright, Nosferatu. Go back after. I don't know if we're gonna survive this this bounty against the new Doduo, but you know what? We will give it a go. Ugh. Wow. That's some nonsense. Okay, uh, in that case, how about we use Gawain for the first time? Gawain! Use Rock Throw to kill that bird. Already proven your worth. Thank you, Gawain. Okay, with that, <laughs> we're going to head back to Ecotech City so that we can pick up next episode, go into the Burn Tower. But before we do that, as always, we need a little chat with our Pokemon. How's it going, Eve? Eve is jumping for joy. Well, you are practically a newborn, probably, maybe, I don't know. I didn't have to, but it wouldn't surprise me. You're only level 5. With that said, I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.